Hi, my name is Elias Lopen. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com. I'm an authentic ancient coin dealer. I've identified and researched over 28,000 items. Every item that you purchase from me comes with a certificate of authenticity, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, complete with my signature, the coin specifically in a professional case, with a, a description, a color photograph of the item, a full color description uh, a full description of the item including many times major references and collections and on the back is the historical context of the item you purchased. Uh, you get a great selection of items. I have over 6,000 items in my store so visit my site. Today I'm going to be reading you the biography of Roman Emperor Pertinax. The this is how he, how he looked like. Pertinax was Roman Emperor for three months in 193 AD. He is known as the first emperor of the tumultuous year of the five emperors. A high-ranking military and senatorial figure, he tried to restore the discipline in the Praetorian Guards, whereupon they rebelled and killed him. Upon his death, he was succeeded by Didius Julianus, whose reign was similarly short. Born in Alba, Pompeia in Italy, he was the son of freedman Helvius Successus. Later he was uh, commissioned an officer in a cohort. In the Parthian War that followed, he was able to distinguish himself, which resulted in a string of promotions, and after posting in Britain along the Danube, he served as procurator in Dacia. He suffered a setback as a victim of court intrigues during the reign of Marcus Aurelius. But shortly afterwards, he was recalled to assist Claudius Pompeianus in the Marcomannic Wars. In 175, he received the honor of a suffect consulship until 185. Pertinex was governor of the uh, provinces of Upper and Lower Moesia, Dacia, Syria, and finally governor of Britain. In the decade of the 180s, Pertinax took a pivotal role in the Roman Senate until the Praetorian prefect Sextus Tigidius Perennis forced him out of the public life. He was recalled after three years to Britain, where the Roman army was in a state of mutiny. He tried to quell the unruly soldiers, but there was one but one legion mutinied and attacked his bodyguard, leaving Pertinax for dead. When he recovered, he punished the mutineers severely, which led to his growing reputation as a disciplinarian. When he was forced to resign in 187, the reasons given was that the legions had grown hostile to him because of his harsh rule. He served as council in Africa during the years of 188 to 189, and followed this term of service with urban prefecture of Rome and the second consulship as ordinarius with emperor as his colleague. When Commodus' behavior became increasingly erratic through the early 190s, Pertinax is th thought to have been implicated in the conspiracy that led to his assassination in 31st December 182. The plot was carried out by the Praetorian prefect Quintus Aemilius, Aemilius Laetus, Commodus Mistress Marcia, and his chamberlain Eclectus. After the murder has been carried out, Pertinax was serving as urban prefect at this time. It was hurried to the Praetorian camp and pro proclaimed emperor the following morning. His short reign, 86 days, was an uneasy one. He attempted to emulate the re restraint practices of Marcus Aurelius and made an effort to reform the Alimenta, but he faced antagonism from many supporters. Ancient writers detail how the Praetorian Guard expected a generous donativum on his ascension, uh, and when they were disappointed, agitated until he produced money, selling of Commodus' property, including the concubines and youths Commodus kept for his sexual pleasures. He revalued the Roman currency dramatically. On 28th March 193, Pertinax was at his palace when a contingent of some 300 soldiers of the Praetorian Guard rushed the gates because they had received only half their promised pay. Neither the guards on duty nor the palace officials chose to resist them. 
Although advised to flee, he then attempted to reason with them, and was almost successful before being struck down by one of the soldiers. Pertinax must have been aware of the danger he faced by assuming the purple, for he refused to use imperial titles for either his wife or son, thus protecting them from the aftermath of his own assassination. The position which Senator Didius Julianus won and became the new emperor, an act which triggered a brief civil war over the succession, won later in the same year by Septimius Severus. After his entry to Rome, Septimius recognized Pertinax as a legitimate emperor, executed the soldiers who killed him, and not only pressured the Senate to deify him and provide for his, him a state funeral, but also adopted his cognomen of Pertinax as part of his name. And also for some time he held games on the anniversary of Pertinax's ascension and his birthday. Thank you very much for visiting my website, trustedcoins.com to buy coins of various different emperors and possibly including this one. Thank you very much for visiting Trusted Coins.